Welcome to Harmony Express Schoolie episode 13. Unlucky, lucky number 13. So it's been about uh, two weeks since our last time together. Um, had been doing a lot of work, but uh, didn't get a chance to video it. So I'll show you around. weekend could be called Paper Doll Weekend. I'm gonna buy a paper doll that I can call my... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nope, nope, nope. Not that one. Not that kind of paper doll. This kind of paper doll right here. So, look what I made. So, we went from the paper doll to a, car, uh, a, a plywood cutout. And then to a side cabinet. Uh, side cabinet wall. So there's four of those and they're all pretty much the same. The cabinets are not the same dimensions because it's a bus. This is the air intake for the engine, which has louvers on the outside there and it sucks air in up high away from the exhaust. So that makes an angle. And so you have a compound angle. You have the windows coming in on this side and you have the air intake going out on that side. And then over here, if you look, we have it coming in, the, the door is straight. We've got that square, the, the side of the cabinet square with the square with this and uh, going straight up and down. So we kept the cabinets with a three quarter inch reveal on all side of the doors, or a three quarter inch reveal. Um, I haven't gotten the hinges yet, but I gotta tell you, <laughs> I know everyone talks about the same thing, Craig jigs. Craig jigs are spe spectacular. If it weren't for Craig, I wouldn't have been able to make this cabinet. So you see, I just took the door off. Pocket holes, pocket holes, pocket holes for days. Pocket holes, pocket holes, pocket holes for days. There it is, see? Put it all together. It's incredibly strong. And then with that piece that I just made, I actually screwed uh, uh, tech screws into a support here, and that's into the sheet metal, into a support there, and up in here. This is not going anywhere. So anyway, how I made this, it's just one by material I ripped down. Um, this is a mistake. <laughs> the Craig, Craig holes went the wrong way. <laughs> anyway, the other side is better, but um, it's all glued. I did a quarter inch chamfer. This is quarter inch birch plywood inside there. So just need to put my hinges on and get that done. So that's Paper Doll Project 1 since our last update. Um, there's another Paper Doll Project that I'll go outside and I'll show you. Well, there I went. I cut a hole in the bus. So you see, this is where the stop sign was. The air line came down through here, so I'm gonna have to patch that hole up. We'll get that taken care of. But there was also another hole that was like right in here that I decided to get rid of. Um, Instead of having one box that has the, the shore water and the gravity fill water, um, we actually ended up with two. Uh, and I'll show you what the, what the first one looks like. Um, it actually is, you know, external. Um, has, a, has a spot in here for the hose to go into. And a brass fitting inside to uh, hook into our, our water lines as we go in. So um, we elected to go with this one uh, separate. I'm kind of glad we did because of the way everything is configured back there on that back section there. So, so anyway, butyl tape on this one. Three screws later, it'll be in. I'll show you.
are. All right, so that one's in. Uh, I'll we'll have to trim off the excess butyl tape that comes out there. That's all right, though. It's nice and sealed. So the next thing that I'm going to have to figure is that I've got a, a, a single hatch, and I'll show that to you, that actually is just for the gravity fill. I was planning on putting that over on this section right here. This, if you look at this shadow, is where the, um, where the uh, stop sign, the, re the rear stop sign was. Well, I didn't realize before I took it off of here that they actually had cut this out so that line could come out. So I'm going to fabricate a patch panel that goes over top of there. I'll fill it with butyl tape and <clears throat> run some screws down here, run it across here. So it'll look like the patch, the hatch panel, hatch, the water fill is all um, was was meant to be there it was like that one piece so got a piece of metal to use for that but I'll take care of that so there's another paper doll so we're gonna go right to the edge of this we're gonna go right under the rub rail so I'm gonna cut that um, it covers over the hole which is right there and then um, over here so it'll make this feel like it's centered in that this will actually go this piece will go almost right up under the rub rail. It has to in order for the outlet to be above the level of the tank. So, so there we are. We're at least getting started on that. I'll true it up and make it nice and square. And then I'll trace it and cut it out on a nice piece of metal that I have to go on the outside of the bus. Of course, this is going to get painted so it'll match everything on that side. So here we go. All right, our paper doll turned into a patch panel. So I put that in there. This was actually inside the bus. I recycled that stuff. Um, there's no butyl tape on here yet, but I used, I put a screw in each one of the corners and then pre-drilled everything. So we're going to take that off now and put butyl tape on there and, um, put it back on. Now you might say, Mike, why haven't you put screws up there? Well, I haven't put screws up there yet because I have to put the uh, water hatch as high as I possibly can in there. Um, because of the way the tank is inside. So we're gonna use those screws to help hold everything together uh, that way. So anyway, moving on. All right, so uh, shout out to Sloth High Five. They're the ones, they have one that actually had the gravity inlet and the uh, freshwater inlet um, the same. However, this is the one we bought. And they said, save this because this is the right size for your cutout for the, uh, for the the water inlet into the bus. Well, I'm taking it one step further from what what those guys did, is I'm gonna put this on here, this way, and I'm gonna trace around the outside of it so that I have an entire template so I know where to put this on that, uh, that panel I just patched in. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna drill each one of these corners here so that when I when I grind, I don't have to worry about coming up and, and making it any larger. So let's drill and see what happens. Four more just like that and we'll be done. So, without further ado, I introduce a patch panel and our water hatch, our, our, our fresh water inlet. So, so you know, this butyl tape squeezed out, we're going to clean that all up. And of course, the whole bus is going to get painted. So it looks like a patch right now. Eventually, it won't look like a patch. It'll look like it belongs on the bus. You won't even know it. Um, so, we open it up. There. This is the gravity fill inlet. You do that, you stick a hose inside there and it will go into your water tank. This is for the, uh, the uh, air uh, vent from the tank. So there we go. There's a job done. I'm gonna buy a paper doll that I can call my own. We've been working to debusify the bus. Um, one of the things that was on here that made it a bus was lots of reflective tape and lots of goop on there you see it says emergency exit there we had a lot of emergency exits in this bus 
So we had uh, we got something and we started removing those things. We started by using um, just a heat gun and um, and a putty knife, and um, you know I took it off pretty well, but then it left all of this adhesive that was nasty. Uh, WD-40 does get rid of a lot of that adhesive, but boy, it's labor intensive to do. But we got something in, uh, from the Amazon uh, lady, and I'll show you what it was. So this one's from 3M. That's the brand name. Um, this is, uh, actually, it's an eraser wheel. Do not exceed uh, 4,000 RPM. Well, this actually does a really whiz-bang job of erasing uh, decals. I'll show you. Um, Allison went to work on this and literally like five minutes got rid of that one got rid of this one over here and started getting rid of that one up top up there that's gone um, I started working she has a little problem up up in the high spaces I got rid of the Thomas sign off of there that's gone um, the first emergency exit sign is gone um, I'm gonna work my way back here and get the rest of those and uh, see if I can't get them off there's a whole bunch less bus stuff and you're still a 743 right there that's gonna go but um, on the other side we've gotten most of the stickers off um, we've used the magic 3m eraser wheel and the 743 is a mere shadow of its former self um, there it is um, we've gotten most of the stickers off of this side here so that's pretty well clean and I did one more fun thing all right, finishing up with the paper doll theme. Got everything in there. Everything's all nice on there. And Allison has uh, has started filling in with uh, liquid nails. Not liquid nails, plastic wood, that stuff. Anyway, watch. We have opening doors. Look at that. And that one. Yeah, so I've got to put catches on there because, you know, as you're moving... <clears throat> the, the bus will, uh, those doors will fly open. So we've got to put catches on those, but we'll get that done. Then we also put in our water tank. Water tank is all secured down. Um, it's, it's well secured. Um, as you saw us putting the hatch on outside, the water fill, the gravity fill. This has a downward slope from there to there, and we'll be all set on that side, and then we'll be able to fill in our, our city water on that side too. So keeping on, keeping on. Lots of stuff happening, putting stuff in the bus. It's fun. All right then, time to wrap up the weekend. So this is about where the bed's gonna go. You see there's the wall, that's uh, our bedroom. Um, the bed's gonna be there. There actually will be out about another six inches from there because it's, a, it's gonna be a queen size bed. So it'll be about 60 inches wide. The uh, tank is under the bed, it's secured. We're gonna put a strap, two straps around there to keep it from hopping. Um, we have the water inlets there, and they are clearing the bed on that side, so that'll be cool. Um, cabinets are all in, doors are opening, and that's about it. Um, it's been a nice weekend. It's actually more than a weekend. We uh, we've done we've done uh, work during the week. It's kind of nice during this whole pandemic craziness and all that stuff to have a little project to work on. Well, not a little project, a big project. Ooh, 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 wait, there's one more thing. The bus home, actually when I went to pick up the bus, they tried to show me the quote unquote fun horn, the air horn that's up there. Well, um, it didn't work. And I don't know if it was hooked in through safeties or whatever, but I now have it hooked in through my horn. So it sounds like this. It echoes, listen. It goes through the hills. <laughs> Everyone's going to know I'm coming. So anyway, thanks for watching the Harmony Express Schoolie. If you like it, like it. If you don't like it, tell us why. Comment, comment, subscribe. Follow us along. Anyway, thanks a lot. We will see you on the next episode. See ya. It's already starting to get its use for uh, what it's intended. Kind of hanging out. It's getting lit. It's awesome. Anyway kind of fun.